so three mainstays of this building. The Dark Lady, who was the oldest known ghost in Hamilton, probably in Canada, because there was a poem written about her in the 1800s. The other ghost is Walter, who is coming through right now. He is a caretaker, original caretaker of the building. His domain is the attic. And the final spirit that will come through on the board, if you're using it later, uh, might be David. David is a child. He spans many generations in this building. We did uh, investigation nights like over 10 years ago with a completely different team, and he was coming through to people randomly back then as well. So those are the three that you might pick up on. Here's Walter. Hey, Walter, are you here? You know, Walter, it's only two days until Halloween. So what I did, I brought you a trick-or-treat present. Holmes. And I brought you a jar with your own label on it, Walter. So there you go. Happy Halloween, Walter. I'm sure not, you know, not a lot of people have bought gifts here. That's got to make him feel special. Got his all his name on it. Tin. Okay, Walter, where are we going to put your jar? Well, oh, Ian, where you like where you like it to be. Here, Walter, let's put the jar over here. Can you make that ball move for us, David? You want to play with it? Jim. Is Jim here? Hi, Hi Jim. Jim. Glance. Mommy, oh, Hi, sweet David. Do you want, do you want to take that chocolate for me? I brought it for you. You move that ball before, and you should. You can do it for me. On tape. That was a strong energy. Do you want to, to hold my hand, David? Does that make you feel better? <laughs> Judgment. Uh, people judge you, David. Fifteen. Fifteen bodies. Yes, there are fifteen bodies cleared below. Next door. Yes, he's taking a video of this. You can see all this? Who's talking to me? David, is this you? What are you trying to spell? Yep. Is there a spirit here that wishes to communicate with us? We're looking for a specific one, so we're hoping you come across. Can you spell out your name for us? Okay, perfect. Hi, David. 
Oh, <laughs> hi, sweetie. Uh, you've been visiting me at home a lot, haven't you? Yeah, you have. He said he's been behaving himself, not calm. You have trouble. been very behaved. You're a very well-behaved boy, David. Yes, you are. Um, David, I think you're an incredible little boy. You, you could have scared me a lot. You've never done it. Aww. I think. Why? Oh. Aww, you're welcome, David. David, oh, I don't have to ask one Because I've had questions in my head if yeah. you ever come back, and then it's like, you know, they're gone. Did you move this little orange ball by itself? Did I see you do that? Yeah, you did. That's nice. What else do you, what else are you doing at home, David, that I see? Nothing? B, A, R, D, F, cards. I'll have to really think about that. Hey, I had a dream about the custom house the other night. Was that from you? I had a dream that I was here investigating. Yeah. Thank you for that, David. Do you have any questions you want to ask me, David? Yeah, you can ask me anything you want. D. O. D. Y. O. U. D. U. H. A. B. E. K. I. D. No, David. No, David. I don't have kids. But if I did, I would love it to be you. You're the perfect little kid. Yes, you are. I think you're incredibly sweet. Did you see the chocolate I brought you? Yeah. You know what it's called? No, it's called a kiss. Because you kissed me, I wanted to kiss you. Yeah. G. Good, yeah. David, I want to ask you a question. Now they say it's it's true. If I say a, say something in my mind, you can you can kind of read my thoughts. Is that true? Yeah. So if I ask you a question, you'll be able to answer it for me or try to answer it for me. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask a question, and then say that's yes or no. You ready? Did you not hear it? No? That's okay, David. You don't have to. I, I can speak to you like I'm speaking to you now. You like that better? Yeah? That's good. Have you been playing? Mm. Yeah. Have you been playing my kitties some more? They see you a lot, don't they? Yeah. I think they like you. Yeah. David, when other people come here, are they nice to you? That's good. You're a good little boy. You're a happy little boy? Yeah. Are you smiling for me, David? Yeah. Good. I bet you got a great smile. Yeah. So you're going to show yourself to me sometime, David? Yeah. Will it be soon? I'm very, very anxious to see you, David. I had a dream the after the night I was here before I had a dream of a little boy was that you yeah it was so vague I yeah. just remember seeing a little boy and I just that's all he remembered because mm -hmm. he said he was gonna do it for me would you do that for me again yeah thank you David I would love to see that were you at my house during Thanksgiving did you see what we did for you we set, a, we set a plate for him. Oh, that's cute. Were you sitting next to me and Ian? Yeah, I'm glad you were. Do you want to say anything else? H. U. G. Hug. 
Oh, you give me lots of hugs on I read that all the time. Yeah. David, the last time I was here, uh, before we talked, I felt, was that your energy I felt come over me in the vault? It was like the most amazing, yeah. peaceful, just completely covered me. I thought that was you. Now, David, when you warned me not to the attic last time, was it because my safety would have been at risk? Yeah, you didn't want Walter getting near me, did you? Yeah, yeah. That, thank you, David. You're a, you're a great little protector. Yes, you are. David, um, what is your favorite toy, David? B A L L. A ball? Like the one in front of you? Yeah? Well, I'm, I'm glad you like that. We have others at home. Do you see those too? Yeah. You like playing this one, don't you? Yeah. Uh, David, we had a little communication thing we tried the other night at home. Was that you that spelled out kiss? Yeah, was that you that grabbed my hand? I had it brushed and then oh, kiss really? came through in the office, yeah. So you heard everything I said to you? Yeah, I'm glad you did. You're around me a lot at home, aren't you? I feel you a lot. Yeah. You know you're allowed to be there, right? Yeah, you can, you, have, you can be there as much as you want to be there. You, were, you seem to be very excited to talk to me tonight. Okay, yeah. Anytime you feel scared or whatever, you can come, come be with me as much as you want, okay? Okay. Are you still the only one that follows me home? Yeah? Well, I'm glad you do. He's just tracing the letters. Oh, what is, does that have a meaning, David? Are you still here, David? I'm thinking David's not here anymore. I think someone's maybe taken over. Uh -huh. Who is this? Who are we talking to now? Well, at the beginning of that seance, whoever he was like, didn't want, you know, I'm going to, when we just push it to goodbye. Uh -huh. Did you make David leave? Yeah, who is this? Oh, this is Walter, isn't it? Why did you make David leave? Walter, do you like the jar that I gave you? He brought a jar with his name on it. Oh. Did you see where I put it on the shelf for you, Walter? Okay. <laughs> 